Yo, what's good? This is Tahoe TV, and I'm about to vent. Audio? So, I uh, think, I, like I said, I'm an avid uh, fan of social animals, right? So, I remember one time you were um, talking about you and a coworker having an argument about some of the play parties you may put together, right? Yeah. And it came off as judgmental, you get what I'm saying? Um, then, said coworker actually came to me and told me, and that's how I found out who the coworker yeah. actually was. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, boy, he was just talking about this conversation you had. Yeah. Um, for the people that may not know, what's a play party? Um, it's a party with people. Well, I do a part the podcast called Hard Soft, mm -hmm. and in doing that, we we started talking about male sex toys and you know all different types of kinks and stuff like that. We wind up hiring mm -hmm. um two dominatrix to come and play with my girl, mm -hmm. and they spanked her and rubbed her and kissed her and ate her and did all types of stuff in front of my face and I was like amazed by it mm -hmm. and I was just like yo wow like there's so much more levels to sex than just using my you know my mm -hmm. dick like I thought that and you just learned this is the same dude that was walking around with the dildo yeah <laughs> but I mean I guess mm -hmm. I knew that you could do you know something like that but I was still curious about it and mm -hmm. I've always watched mad porn and shit like that but mm -hmm. um, to see women mm -hmm. have that type of interaction and it really like she was wetter than ever that day mm -hmm. she was screaming like they would like say my name was giving her orders and shit like that like mm -hmm. and then you know, call me this name and if you don't call me that name or if you don't follow orders then I'm gonna spank you and she's they like, and you must address me as mistress, and you must say please. And when she did it, they would spank her. They, so by the end of it, they ask a question. She's like, please. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm sitting there on my dick, like, oh God, it's <laughs> just sexy. Fuck, they like. And so, you know, through the uh, just, you know, progression of that, mm -hmm. I, I started going to these parties where people do doing things in front of each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of me, that wasn't one of the flyest things I've ever done because, for one, it took me out of what I thought was legal mm -hmm. for niggas mm -hmm. from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. You don't do shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still a nigga from Brooklyn. Like, mm -hmm. yo, the fuck wrong with that? That shit fly. I watch mm -hmm. porn, now I am porn. I'm in porn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, yo, <laughs> this shit I is am hard, Mr. nigga. <laughs> I actually interviewed Mr. Marcus on the podcast. Yeah, that you know I'm yeah. Hmm. So it's like, and, and doing that and seeing black people be free and sexy and exploring shit and doing shit, it's like, yo, it felt so free, my nigga. It felt so free, my nigga. And so I started doing it myself. But for me, it was like, yo, I'm not gonna do no regular shit at my shit. We're gonna be teaching people how to do shit. We're gonna show them how to work with electricity, mm -hmm. tickle women, use sensual play, the foreplay, we're gonna tie them up, tie they, 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 they faces, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you know, consensually, of course, mm -hmm. we just gonna run around tying them up. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, mm -hmm. it really became something that a lot of novice people, because you gotta understand, if you me, mm -hmm. the people around me that's attracted to me mm -hmm. ain't gonna be attracted to, to somebody else that's mm -hmm. always been there. like. We all different, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So the people who I bring in, it's like they've never been to it either. Mm -hmm. But they trust me. Because mm -hmm. they're like, yo, if you do it, fuck it. You know what? Yeah, because so yeah, you are like, like a Brooklyn you know nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Tyler do it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I hear how he, his respect and, you know, women and, and, and such and so on and so forth. So, yeah, um, it just became a really dope thing. And now I'm very, very, very proud um, of what we've created. Mm -hmm. Like a community of people that feel very comfortable and sexy mm -hmm. and um, like you go in there and we have one room it's just the orgy room mm -hmm. and anybody who go in there and y'all you act people still ask for consent but you jump in it because you want to be in there you want to mm -hmm. be involved and you want to play and you know so our last one we had like 15 people in the orgy room going crazy it's like and, it, and it's like a fucking ceiling with mirrors and, and you just laying there looking up or whatever while things are being done to you or whatever and you just see all of these black 
beautiful bodies. It's only really for black people. You know, only or brown people. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, no Caucasians. Our are, space. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's something for us. You know, mm. and, and and so that's just one of the rooms. The other room is like a mm. body worship room. Mm. It's like people you go in there and people just rub on you and touch you or suck on you or whatever, and you just get covered. It's multiple people, mm. multiple people touching on you or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And we have people that play with fire, play. You know, mm. so they massage you with their hands on the fire. They set you. You know, but it's a, it's a nice way. It's like um the alcohol like. You know the blue flame, not the orange. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. so it's the one that the doesn't. Butane like, one. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't yeah. really. It doesn't go. Yeah. Not the butane. That's just. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the one that's safe, but mm -hmm. you still feel the heat. You understand know what, yeah. what I'm saying? And then we have dominatrixes and shit like that. And, um, it's quite an experience. Mm -hmm. It's quite an experience. So, you know what I'm saying? Yo, y'all know what it is. This is Tahoe. I just vented. You know, I had to get some shit off my chest. Be sure to like. Comment and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? We need to hear from you. Right.